was a champion! At least whoever took it left you a tasty-looking pickle. I mean, look at my carrot! Not even a starving rabbit would eat it now. And my tomato doesn't even look like a tomato anymore. It would have been better off stolen. I don't understand. How could things so good turn so bad over one little vacation? In the famous words of Miss Frizzle, time waits for new vegetable. Huh? Let's face it, our county fair has turned into the city dump. Hey, give me five, guys. That kid's back. Hi, Ralphie. Hey, how you doing, Ralphie? Whoa, Arnold, I haven't seen anything that gross since my baseball glove got rained on and run over by the garbage truck. In case you forgot, Ralphie, my tomato did win third place. With the way that tomato looks now, my glove could have come in second. Hey, nice pickle, Quiche. Wait a minute. Hold it. Doesn't anybody care that somebody stole my cucumber? Stole it? Who would ever do such a thing? You like cucumbers, don't you, Ralphie? Like them? <laughs> I love them. Hey, hold it a second. You're not trying to say I stole your cucumber, are you? Good morning, class. Um, isn't it awfully early to be eating a pickle, Miss Frizzle? Oh, it's never too early for a pickle, unless it's a cucumber. Speaking of cucumbers, Miss Frizzle, mine was stolen while we were on vacation. We must have had a thief in here. Is this what you're looking for, Keisha? This isn't my cucumber, Miss Frizzle. It's a pickle. Mm. <laughs> and it's almost ready to eat. Whoa! There's a ton of pickles in here! You caught me, Ralphie. Oh, I have a private and powerful passion for pickles. Something smells funny here. Your nose knows, Keisha. Mm. It's the salty brine the pickles have pickled in. I'm talking about my prize cucumber, Miss Frizzle. And all I know is the door to this classroom was locked during the vacation. <gasps> and you had the key! Keisha, are you suggesting that, that Miss Frizzle, that our beloved teacher, that she, well, she could have done something with my cucumber? Oh, you're right, Keisha. <laughs> I admit it. Miss Frizzle! I admit that thanks to me, your cucumber is gone, but it isn't missing. How can something be gone, but not missing? You see, Keisha, this pickle used to be your cucumber. Isn't that amazing? Not amazing and not possible. This does not look like my cucumber. It doesn't smell like my cucumber. And I'm sure it doesn't taste like my cucumber. Stop! You're destroying the evidence! What evidence? This isn't a trial. Maybe it is. My point exactly. If Keisha eats this pickle, then Miss Frizzle can't prove it's Keisha's cucumber. Right, Miss Frizzle? Sounds right to me, Arnold. I hate to do this, Miss Frizzle. I have to ask you some tough questions. Oh, how exciting! As I always say, one tough question deserves another. Wait! You don't have to answer anything, Miss Frizzle. You have the right to remain silent. You even have the right to dismiss this class. Why would I want to do that, Arnold? I've never been on trial before. Let the trial begin! <laughs> Cucumber, Keisha versus Ms. Frizzle. The Honorable Judge Liz R. presiding. Yours truly speaking on behalf of the court. Keisha, do you have an opening statement? I do. I intend to prove that Ms. Frizzle not only took my prize-winning cucumber, but also she did not turn it into a pickle. Oh, bravo, Keisha. I intend to prove the same thing. It's so nice when everyone's on the same side. Ms. Frizzle! Sit down, Arnold. Kids of the jury, this is a pickle. This is a cucumber. Not as big as my cucumber, mind you, but still a cucumber. I object! What now, Arnold? You know that's a cucumber! Okay, I take it back. Ms. Frizzle is asking us to believe that a pickle and a cucumber are the same thing. Now I ask you, do these look the same to you? I don't think so! Does the defense have anything to say in defense? Yes, we do! We will prove that no crime was committed and Miss Frizzle is innocent of all charges. Right, Miss Frizzle? As I already said, Arnold, I did take Keisha's cucumber, but I did not change it into a pickle. But I know who did. You do? They were members of a gang. A small-time gang with big ideas. A tiny, troublesome crowd of two-bit thieves known as... the Microbe Gang. And even though they hang around a lot of different places, they're extremely hard to find. Is that because they're always on the run? No, it's because they're invisible. Invisible? I think the Frizz is losing it. Order! Order in the court! Objection! Miss Frizzle is not losing it. There is a perfectly logical explanation. Tell them, Miss Frizzle. Tell them the gang is invisible because they wear disguises. 
right? Oh, no. They're invisible because they're too small to be seen with the naked eye. Yet every second of every day, they're busy changing the very world we live in. Miss Frizzle, you're not making this very easy. I agree. How can Miss Frizzle expect us to believe that my cucumber was turned into a pickle by a gang of thieves we can't even see? Keisha has a point, Arnold. How can you prove that? Oh, Arnold. We're taking the court on a field trip. A field trip? What am I saying? It's the only way, Arnold. If you say so, Miss Frizzle. Everyone to the bus. Kids of the jury, this field trip will prove to you that Miss Frizzle is telling the truth. It will show you that the members of the Mike Robe gang really exist. You will see with your own eyes that they have the ability to turn a cucumber into a pickle. Yeah! 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 I object! There shouldn't be any plotting until after we see this invisible gang. If they exist, which I doubt. I mean, come on. How can you see something if it's invisible? As Sherlock Gherkin once said, cucumber thieves always return to the scene of the brine. <laughs> Buckle up, everyone. Bus, do your stuff. Shrinking to get you thinking. Hey, what's that? That's my comb! The one I lost last week! Yeah, but last week you were bigger than your comb. <laughs> now your comb's bigger than all of us! Excuse me, Miss Frizzle, but does this really count as a field trip? I mean, we haven't gone anywhere. Technically, we're still in our classroom. Here's the button to my favorite blouse. Oh, I knew I'd find it! That's it! We're inside the lost about box. Hey, look at this! I never knew Lincoln was inside this building. How you doing, Abe? Whoa! Good thing it wasn't a quarter. Okay, okay, so we're really small. What does that prove? It proves that when you're small, you can see things you never saw before. Like this spider mite. No way, I saw one of those before we got small. Though I have to admit, it didn't look so big. Yeah, well, I bet you never saw one of these before. Could you, Miss Frizzle? Oh, not likely, Arnold. It's much too tiny. And it's alive! It's a kind of yeast called ascomycete. Yeast? What's yeast doing? Here. Ask on my seat grow nearly everywhere. Cool, but I'd rather find one on your seat than my seat. <laughs> Carlos! I don't care whose seat it's on. If it's so tiny you can only see it when you're tiny, that makes it an invisible member of Mike Rove's gang, just like Miss Frizzle said. I rest my case. Not so fast, Arnold. Just because there are tiny little creatures here doesn't mean they're everywhere, and it doesn't mean that they turn my cucumber into a pickle. Okay, Keisha, you want more proof, more evidence? Pick a place, any place. I'll show you more invisible creatures. I hope. Fine. Let's go to the vegetable garden. <laughs> hey, Liz! We're up here! She can't see us. She could if she knew where to look. I changed my mind. I want to land on Liz. I object! You said you wanted to go to the vegetable garden. Oh, not to worry, Arnold. No matter where we go, day or night, night or day, the micro gang will have its say. Liz, it is. I don't see any creepy crawly creatures. I do. Aha! Another member of the micro gang. Right, Miss Frizzle? Right on, Arnold. Oh, no. I think Liz thinks we're one of them. <laughs> when we land upside down. Where are we now? I hope we're not back in the water cycle. Hmm, unless I'm mistaken, we're inside... The Hamster's Water Bowl! And Liz still can't find us. I object! What now, Arnold? I object to being the smallest defense attorney in history. I object to where we are! Look! I think we landed in the middle of a beating frenzy. What are they? Ah, the fat, juicy ones are amoeba. And the ones that look like hairy hot dogs are paramecium. Looks like the Underwater Wrestling Association to me. Actually, Ralphie, they are more members of the microbe gang. Ah! We're under attack! Gosh, I never knew things like these existed. But now you do. And not only that, they're everywhere. Case closed. Well done, Arnold. Objection. Our hamster drinks this water, right? So how can this invisible gang change my cucumber into a pickle if our hamster is still a hamster? Huh? Explain that. Well, uh, uh, it seems to me, um... Okay, you want change? I'll show you change. There! My tomato! Something is definitely...
exactly going on there? Well, I don't know about you guys, but I hope our hamster isn't thirsty! Whoa! My tomato, Miss Frizzle, and hurry! Wanda's carrot. Hear that, Keisha? I told you something was going on. But sorry, Arnold. Smelly industry isn't enough. I don't see anything here to change my mind but a rotten tomato. Um, maybe... Maybe we need to, uh, uh shrink some more. Can't believe I said that. As my great Aunt Chameleon used to say, there's nothing as constant as change. No sooner shrunk than sunk. Here. Only one way to find out, and that is to get messy. Into your anti fungus suits, everyone. I knew I should have stayed home today. Wow! Oh, More members of the Mike Rowe gang. They're everywhere. It looks like they're attacking Arnold Tomato. We're surrounded. Oh, relax, Arnold. They're funguses, and they are only doing what comes naturally. You mean they're supposed to destroy the tomato? Hey, even a fungus has to eat. Wow, cool! Hey, watch it! What if they eat us next? Then Ms. Frizzle will need a new defense attorney. <laughs> if we were big, could we see this stuff happening through a magnified glass? Only a very powerful one, Phoebe. You mean like the mega magnifier? are everywhere and that they can make things change you still haven't proven that they turn my cucumber into a pickle i object just in case that calls for another shrink that won't be necessary arnold uh -oh. is it just me or are we having a tomato This is it, Keisha. This is where it all happened. You mean we're actually at the scene of the crime? Follow me! I object! It's too late to object, Arnold! Look out! <laughs> it sure is crowded in here. Ugh. The tomato fungus is still among us. They're everywhere! All right, you are, Wanda. Everywhere and anywhere. <laughs> What's going on here? More destruction! First the fungus has ate the tomato, now they're trying to eat the pickle! Looks to me like they've got some competition from those little squirty things. The little squirty things are a kind of bacteria, and they are actually protecting the pickle. Whoa! Look at those pickle protectors work! Wipe out! The funguses are history! Pickle juice! I hate pickle juice! So do the funguses! <laughs> They're not destroying the cucumber. They're saving it. So, if it weren't for the pickle bacteria, the same rotten thing that happened to the tomato would happen to this cucumber. Yeah, total annihilation. I get it. The fungus is rotting by eating them, and the pickle bacteria stop things from rotting by getting rid of the funguses. Only one problem. The pickle bacteria is turning the cube into a pickle. Oh, not a problem, Ralphie. That's preservation. A pickle lasts a lot longer than a cucumber. Don't tell me the pickle bacteria are gang members, too. That they are, Keisha. They may be small, but they make big changes. And all those tiny living things we've just seen are called microbes. Did you say microbes? As microscopic? So tiny that you need a microscope to see them? So tiny that they're invisible? Just like us. Tiny, invisible, microscopic, yes! Kids of the jury, you 
start seeing with your own eyes that all around us is an invisible world of microbes. A world that includes amoebas, paramecians, ascomycetes, funguses, and yes, pickle bacteria! And each and every one of these microbes is a member in good standing of the Microbe Gang! Isn't that right, Miss Frizzle? I wouldn't change a thing, Arnold. But microbes do! They make big changes, like turning a cucumber into a pickle. So, kids of the jury, it's very clear that Miss Frizzle did not, I repeat, did not turn Keisha's cucumber into a pickle. And who did? The microbes did! So, that pickle is really my cucumber? It is indeed, Keisha. I rest my case. Hey, anybody seen the bus? Looks like the bus is in a real pickle. <laughs> Members of the jury, have you reached your verdict? We, the jury, find Miss Frizzle innocent of all charges. Yay!